Welcome to the Pixel Update Bulletin, or Pub for short, yes, that was my idea, I'm English, we like the pub. This is our new monthly newsletter of sorts that runs down just what the monthly patch for eligible pixels fixes. Google has just dropped the April 2024 patch quite late in the day, yesterday actually. There's a lot to get into, so let's get into it. But do me a favour first, before we delve into the details, hit subscribe if you love all things Google, Pixel, Android and everything else in between. You know the deal, we're building one of the biggest communities on the internet dedicated to those temples. Let's get back to the pub though. Following QPR2 or the Pixel feature drop last month, which was pretty huge, the April 2024 Android 14 security patch is now rolling out for the Pixel 5a, the Pixel 6, the 6 Pro, 6a, Pixel 7, 7 Pro, 7a, Pixel Tablet, Pixel Fold, Pixel 8 and the 8 Pro. There's a little extra up Google's sleeve here though, and there's a pun intended there, because this release came a little bit later because a more substantial Pixel Watch update also came out first. I'm tackling the phones first and foremost, of which 8 security issues have been resolved here in the Android 14 April patch dated the 1st of April 2024 and there are 20 vulnerabilities fixed for the patch dated the 5th of the 4th 2024. Vulnerabilities range from high to critical as they always tend to do. All are pretty standard though for a monthly patch. The dedicated bulletin for Google which is released every month alongside this lists 25 additional security fixes for Android with just global builds. Notably Google warns of two specific exploits so forgive me if I muller these. This is the CVE 20242975, which is a high severity bootloader exploit, and CVE 2024-29748, which is a high severity pixel firmware issue. Those are the most important fix with this patch. Those are those nerdy fixes out of the way, but there are some device specific resolutions which you're probably most interested in in the April 14 patch for the pixels that I've mentioned previously. The fingerprint unlocking is probably one of the most notable for the Pixel 5a 5G. That should be fixed if you are running that later device or that slightly older device. General camera stability during zooming is also improved for most Pixel models except the 5a as um, that seems to be noted by Google, don't know why. The Pixel 8 Pro gets specific fixes for a black halo issue in the camera application if you were experiencing that and another issue where you couldn't adjust exposure after you tap the screen. I know that was a big frustration for a lot of people, we saw that in a lot of our comments, so that is fixed here with the April 2024 security patch. That's not extensive by any means. You'll get this OTA on your phone right now if you do check for it by going to settings and system updates, or you can manually flash it. This is a way that I prefer to do this right from Google's dedicated repository. There is a link below, and I will leave a link to our dedicated guide on how to do this if you've never done it before yourself. And that does include a written guide on the website where you can follow through if you have a Mac, if you have a PC, and anything else in between. You're probably wondering what else did the April patch bring because there are some extras here. The Pixel Watch has been given some nice new features. A new feature called Vibration Watch lets you feel the current time on your wrist using vibrations. I really like this option. This is kind of something that Google is very, very good at, and I'd love to see them do more with more of their hardware. The single tap option when this is enabled gives you the hour, while a double tap will give you the vibration in minutes. There are two vibration types here when it is enabled. There's digits. Your watch gives you a long vibration for 10 and a short vibration for one, so it should be easy to understand. There's terse, which rounds the current time to the nearest quarter hour, and your watch gives a short vibration for each 15 minute increment. So once you get used to these, you should be able to quickly understand without having to look at your watch. And there are also vibration speed options available here. There's one for very slow, medium, which is a default, uh, fast and very fast. So you can attune that as you see most comfortable. There are some fixes thrown in for the Pixel Watch and Pixel Watch 2 here as well. If you've been having an issue with that Fitbit main goal tile, when it displays the word steps on two lines when you're using a smaller font size, be sure to update the Proto Layout range on the Play Store. So go to the Play Store on your watch, hit update, that should fix that little tile issue that some of you out there are seeing. That's all we have for the Pixel Watch this month, but if you do want to update this, it's slightly different than it is on Pixel phones, just tap that Your Watch is Up To Date screen, which is in Settings, System, and System Updates. Just smash that loads of times, multiple times, and that should initiate the download. To speed up the process, one thing that we found works is opening up connectivity preferences and disabling Bluetooth to force Wi-Fi connections first, and that's sometimes also speeds up this process of getting the update on your watch. So that's the April 2024 patch for eligible Pixel devices, but another neat little bonus that isn't technically tied to this but has arrived at the same time is that Circle to Search is now available on Pixel Fold. It is rolling out steadily, so hang in there if you haven't gained the option just yet. 
The visual search experience, which has a brand new introductory prompt, is quite straightforward, especially on that cover screen. That said, you can't activate circle to search on the home screen of the foldable display or even the Pixel tablet because the navigation bar doesn't actually appear there. The search field doesn't actually span the entire width of the inner screen, though the results sheet does and does look a bit stretched from our experience. You can disable circle to search from settings, system, navigation mode and gesture navigation if you accidentally keep triggering it, but it should work in applications when that gesture bar does appear on that inner screen. So if you haven't already, I would say get your devices updated, grab a patch, grab a beer. Thanks for watching the first ever Pixel Update Bulletin and until next time, I'll speak to you later.